Hey Virgo, it's Goddess Puff and welcome to your reading. All right, let's get started with an Oracle card message for Virgo. What is going on with my Virgo at this very moment in time here? What does Virgo need to know for Virgo? Thank you, Spirit. I don't know why I got nursing or hospital. We have haunted 21. Feel free to break down these numbers as we go along. We have elders 15. Oh, wow. So you could be haunted by um, an older relative, whether living or deceased, having health issues. Oh, yeah, I got a nurse or a hospital transformation 39 so that someone may have fallen ill in your family in the past or they're doing this now and you've seen how that's changed them you're haunted by the memory of of, of um, an ancestor getting sick whether you actually physically witness this in your waking life or not because i feel like for some of you an elder got sick and passed away long before you were born or you'd never even got to see them in a the hospital, but somehow you can see exactly what they went through either in a dream or a daydream. You've seen how an elder transformed through like being in a hospital. I wanted to say heartache too. Um, nature spirits, 26 as the overall energy. Yeah, you're being visited by this person and they're replaying um, what happened to them through you. This person is showing you exactly what happened to them through dreams or daydreams. Let's get into the tarot for Virgo. Message for Virgo. A message for Virgo. What does Virgo need to know at this very moment in time for Virgo, please, Spirit? Thank you, Spirit. I don't know why I got the the smell of the sticky part of, of the envelope that you open. So I'm getting like either your opening mail, your getting mail, or you work for UPS <laughs> or you mail service. All right, we have the sun card, Leo. Illumination, clarity, warmth, radiance. You're realizing why you keep having these dreams, why a memory keeps flashing in your head that's haunting you about an elder or an ancestor. You keep getting memories of this person. You're wondering why. Now you see why with the sun card. Also, Wheel of Fortune, Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus. So Leo's here twice. So you're realizing the karma and the situation. So this person is um, trying to prevent you from going through what they went through. They're trying to protect you from it. We have the Ten of Pentacles and Inheritance. So there's an elder or ancestor in your family who's passed down something to you that's worth a lot of money. Either a talent, an idea that they never got to like realize. They passed down an idea to you. It, it could be a business or a home for some of you, like a physical like wealth inheritance being given to you or a family heirloom. But for some of you, it's a talent or idea that they never got to see come to fruition the idea is being passed down to you intuitively or through dreams, 10 of Pentacles. That's going to be worth a lot of money. Whatever it is, it's, be, it's uh, worth a lot of money. The hangman, Pisces, seeing both sides of a situation, gaining enlightenment before taking action. So yeah, Virgo, you're about to be hit with a lot of um, dreams or daydreams. I'm getting it's either dreams, like when you go to sleep, take a nap, or waking dreams, daydreams. Over orange is the seven of cups. Yeah. You're having a lot of dreams. Usually I see the seven of cups as confusion and illusions, but with nature spirits, the over energy with the seven of cups, literally sleep. You're having dreams. Again, waking dreams or when you go to sleep that this, your elder, your ancestors are trying to show you how to transform your life try to elevate yourself financially they're giving you ideas that are going to be worth a lot of money ideas that either they never got to pursue or they got shut down they're also leaving you or giving you literal inheritance like literal money being given to you by these ancestors or inherited towards you by these ancestors or businesses and for some of you, it's clothing or jewelry, family heirlooms that are give you a lot of money. Your ancestors are trying to give you a lot of money. Your elders are trying to give you your inheritance. And it's karmically meant to occur. You see that now? You are karmically meant to be wealthy. Ten of Pentacles. And I feel like I did a reading for you a while back for that. And you're having a lot of dreams that are showing you how to do that. If not by physically 
someone giving this to you through inheritance. It's um, ideas that'll make you a lot of money. Business ideas that'll make you a lot of money. Clarify this for Virgo. Clarify this message. Whoa. That was the Ten of Pentacles that just dropped. <laughs> Clarify this message for Virgo. Alrighty, let's see. Clarifying the Sun card is the Five of Wands, conflict and competition. So you could have other family members or siblings. A Leo could be competing for with you for this Ten of Cups. So this has to do with family, a hundred percent. For some, put it where it goes for you though. But I'm getting family. Someone, a Leo, was competing with you for this. They like. Your family, this ancestor, this elder likes you a lot. You are their favorite in the family. But a Leo tries to kiss ass in order to get to replace you. But it doesn't work. Like, yeah, this elder loves this Leo, but they love you more. Clarifying the Wheel of Fortune is the Six of Swords. Because your feelings are genuine. They know that this Leo is kissing up to them just to kiss ass and get inheritance. And they're trying to compete with you. So this could be for uh, love, career, family. Someone's trying to kiss the boss's ass or kiss this ancestor's ass. Whatever elder or higher up, this Leo's trying to kiss their ass so that they can beat you. They're also trying to remind you and this higher up about the mistakes that you've made in the past so that you are not given a chance to level up so that you're not considered, but you get it anyway. They're trying to make you look bad and remind people of your mistakes so that they can get this promotion, this praise, and success, but you get it anyway. Because despite your mistakes, you've overcome them. Your mistakes actually make you a better choice. Whereas this Leo made a very safe reputation for them, where they didn't do anything too spectacular, but they also never failed. Whereas you took risks, many risks. Some of them failed, but majority of them like made you shine. You took a lot of risks in order to make this one special thing come true. It's just you took more risks and you made more profit than this person. Whereas they played it safe and they made no difference. You took risks and actually made a difference. So them exposing your mistakes actually makes you even more likable. Even makes you a more better choice. King of Wands. Yeah. So they, this person clarifying the Wheel of Fortune, they're getting their karma. I feel like this. Oh, wow. So this Leo tries to expose you and they actually get fired. They get let go. I'm getting this Leo tries to make you look bad and they actually get let go. That is so, and that's their karma with the Wheel of Fortune, Six of Swords and the King of Wands. This Leo with the sun tried to expose you with the Five of Wands. This could even be a family member, a friend, someone very close to you. This Leo tried to expose you, compete with the Five of Wands. And they actually get let go because your boss, your elder, or whoever this is, is like, we're a family. So why are you attacking Virgo? You're supposed to work together. So they expose that they're not even an ally. And oh my gosh, this person tries to expose you and gets fired. That's wow. Okay, clarifying the Ten of Pentacles or they get removed from the will, removed from the family. Clarifying the Ten of Pentacles is the Ace of Cups. Yeah, you get welcomed into the family. While this person gets kicked the fuck out of the family, you get welcomed in Ace of Cups. They love you. Ace of Wands. They love your ideas. They love your energy. They love your drive. They love your loyalty and dedication. So while this Leo's trying to get you kicked out, they get removed and you get their place. Whatever they were fighting for, it ends up being given to you because you're authentic and they're not. They're fake. Clarifying, they'll um, double cross anyone to get this position. And this company, this family that's trying to like recruit you or recruit someone, they're looking for loyalty, honesty, and dedication. But this person's fake and fraudulent trying to get to the top. They don't want someone who will do anything to win. They want someone who's so loyal and dedicated that they'll make sure this family, this group wins. This person is like every man for himself, but you're like all for, like you're like one for all and they're just all for one. If that makes sense. Clarifying the hangman is the emperor Aries. Yeah, the higher up. They're not taking action until they see both sides. Until they see yours and this Leo side. And they choose you. I can already see them choosing. Yep, queen of pentacles. 
They choose you with the hangman and seeing both sides of the situation and gaining enlightenment before taking action. We have the emperor here and the queen of pentacles, which is you. They choose you. Over on Jesus, six of pentacles, because you are fair, equal give and take. And then we have ten for Sagittarius. So you stay calm as the other person. It's like they try to manipulate, confuse, and use people. They'll step over people and sabotage people and destroy parts and people of their own company in order for them solely to win. So you're thinking one for all, but they think all for one. So they're selfish and you're not. So that's why you're chosen. So someone trying to sabotage you and it backfires. They end up getting fired, which is embarrassing. Final message for Virgo. And this can go for family, love, career, work. Put it where it goes for you. Final message for Virgo. A lot of things could be metaphoric for some people. Final message for Virgo. That is so, they humiliated themselves. All right, we have mushrooms, quiet growth, the hidden peace. With temperance, yeah, you don't make a fuss like this person does. This person wants to draw attention to all your faults, right? And it ends up getting them fired. So this person tried to th um, get everybody riled up and expose you publicly for all your mistakes and it gets them fired in front of everyone. We have ill, what lurks, electricity, dishonesty. So this person is getting close to you. You have someone in your life. I'm seeing Leo, but put it where it goes for you. We have Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus. And we have Aries. Pisces as well. But put it where it goes for you. Someone in your life, close to you, is trying to get close to you and figure out all your past disappointments and mistakes so that they can take it and make it public and embarrass and humiliate you. And when they do that, it backfires. And then we have, look, praying mantis wit manipulation fun. They just, this person is not a team player. Over on G is milk, nourishment, parents, nostalgia. Whoa. Hope, ignorance, revelation with book. Okay. So I feel like, yeah, this this company, whether it's family, friend, love, work, career, they see it as a um, a family. The higher ups are seen as the parents, whatever. They see that you are a family member, a team player. This person is not. So all their manipulation, all their dishonesty, things that they try to, all of it's being exposed. This person who tried to set you up, they actually expose themselves. They're fake and they get fired while you get promoted to the position that they wanted. All right, I'm going to leave it there. I send you peace, blessings, and love. If you would like to uh, book a reading with me, all of my information is below, as well as my sister's beautiful crystal jewelry. Her Etsy link is below, as well. I send you peace, blessings, and love. Namaste.